And we're joined now with our very own entertainment reporter, Amanda Rogers. Amanda, what's going on with the celebs this week? Well, after lots of speculation, we now have confirmation on the Super Bowl performer during halftime. The highly anticipated Super Bowl halftime performer has been announced. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some Beyonce. That's right, the 16-time Grammy award-winning singer will be performing at halftime during the Super Bowl. The question now is, will Beyonce's husband Jay-Z and former Destiny's Child bandmates join her? The Super Bowl is set for February 3rd in New Orleans. Singer Bruno Mars will host Saturday Night Live tomorrow night, and he will be the musical guest. Yes, you heard right. Bruno Mars is working double duty on SNL. Sure. Yeah, you better bring it, host. I think I'll be just fine, musical guest. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Mars was a musical guest on Saturday Night Live two years ago. This time around, SNL is trying something new by having Bruno Mars be both the host and the musical performer. In between skits, the talented singer will also share some new music from his upcoming album, Unorthodox Jukebox. I really wanted to just be able to wake up and, and say, today I want to write a song like this, I want to write a song like this, and I threw them all together. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a little unorthodox, but it's, I hope the glue is my voice. Mars also told MTV News that the SNL hosting gig came as a shock since he has no acting or comedic background. Then again, he also says he's got nothing to lose. And the Rolling Stones were in London Thursday for the screening of their documentary, Crossfire Hurricane. The film shows the rise of the Rolling Stones following their London debut in 1962. Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Ronnie Wood, and Charlie Watts took time to pose for photographs and sign autographs before the documentary screening. This year marks the band's 50th anniversary, and what better way to celebrate than going on tour? Stones frontman Mick Jagger says the band has been rehearsing almost 70 songs for their new tour. The rehearsal's going very well. Got done about 70 different songs. So now I said, I said, look, we only need to do 30. You know, we don't need to do 70. But now we are doing 70. So I don't want to do them all. But. The Rolling Stones will kick off their 50th anniversary tour next month in London. What happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. Rapper and TV personality Flavor Flav was arrested and charged with battery, domestic violence, and assault with a deadly weapon on Wednesday in Las Vegas. Police received a call from Flavor Flav's fiance saying there had been a fight. She also said the 53-year-old rapper threatened her teenage son with a knife. According to All Hip Hop News, Flavor Flav was released from jail today on a $23,000 bail. The rapper can face up to six years on a charge of assault with a deadly weapon. And if you're looking for something to do in Gainesville tonight, why not go see a play? Dance Alive National Ballet presents Phantom, A Tale of Obsession. The play is tonight at 7.30 at the Phillips Center. Tickets range from $15 to $35. For information on how to purchase tickets, you can visit the UF Performing Arts website. So, Sonica, what do you think about Beyonce being this year's Super Bowl performer? Oh, I'm always such a fan of Beyonce's performances, but I'm not really sure anything will top the one time where she showed off her baby bump at the oh, end. Oh, I know. That was an intense performance.